So what's going on everybody? It's your boy Shelton Damar and I'm back for another vlog. Y'all know the motto, I don't blog, I vlog, I don't do all that writing. But today's story is probably gonna make you laugh a lot. Cause everybody I tell the story to, they end up cracking up. But this was the time that I got a whooping in my triple fat goose. And let me tell y'all, this was the trench coat version of the triple fat goose. So for all y'all that don't know what a triple fat goose is, since I live in Florida now and down south, I don't think they know what a triple fat goose is. Anybody in the south that's not up north, from up north, probably don't know what a triple fat goose is. And if you do, good for you. But a triple fat goose is like a, kind of exactly what it is. It has goose feathers and it's a it's a jacket it's a winter jacket with goose feathers in it so it's like you know it's kind of puffy to keep you warm they had short ones they had long ones they all kind of different triple fat goose my particular triple fat goose i had a long trench coat one it was all red see red is my favorite color so i had to get the red one <laughs> so we got these triple fat goose gooses for christmas and at the time, I was a paper boy. Me and my brothers, me and my brothers used to, you know, do the do do the paper paper route together. So I was putting the like folding the papers up in a certain kind of way and putting them in my pocket because I'm like, all right, you know, I got, I, I'm walking with all these papers. Let me, you know, put some in my pocket. Blah blah blah. I don't know why I didn't grab a book bag or have like the little, little little satchel things to put the papers in. And maybe I did, but I don't I don't remember. I just remember I put the paper in my pocket. So I had went to do the paper route one day. I either came back or when I was leaving, I put the paper in my pocket and my dad told me, don't put the paper in the pocket because you're gonna rip the jacket. So I'm like, oh, okay, all right, cool, cool, whatever, you know, boom. So we out here delivering papers. <sighs> Tell me why I put the paper in my pocket everything's going good all of a sudden me and my brothers we having a snowball fight because it's, it's snowing it, we, we we're up in rochester new york so it's snow on the ground so we out here having a snowball fight boom boom you know beats and whatever whatever the paper mind you the paper is still in my pocket so <laughs> instead of delivering papers we having a snowball fight i go to bend down and pick some snow up and i hear Ugh. Quick ad break. This vlog is brought to you by YesMamHosting.net. Need website hosting? Choose between three hosting plans that fit every need. You can buy domain names, design WordPress sites, and chat with their awesome tech support. Visit YesMamHosting.net today and improve your online presence. Tell me why. I had from the pocket, like the like the left side of the pocket on down, maybe maybe six inches, the pocket had ripped. I mean, the, the coat had ripped. All I could think about was my dad saying, all I could do is hear his voice saying, do not put the paper in your pocket. And I'm like, I can't believe this. So, no, nah, it wasn't even, it wasn't even that day that he told me that. He told me that a few, a couple days before, prior to the incident. But... I ripped my pocket, so now they like, ooh. And I had to still deliver the paper, so I had to go through the paper route, scared to finish, to, to hand off that last piece of paper. So scared to get to that last house. Man, I get back. My dad's still at work. I don't know if I showed my mom or she seen it or one of my brothers said something. I don't remember, but she saw it. And she was like, yeah, ooh, like your daddy told you not to to put the, like, she like, Sean, how did that happen? I'm like, I put the paper in my pocket. She's like, yo, daddy told you not to put the paper in your pocket. Now, you know you probably gonna get a whooping when he get back, when he get here. So I'm like, you know, so, <laughs> he must have had, he must have been just pulling up or something because for some reason, I still had the triple fat goose on when he got there. So, so. I think my mom was like, look what your look what look what your son did, or he might have saw it or something happened. But regardless, he saw the rip in the side of my thing. It was like, yo, how did that happen? I was like, man, I had the paper in my pocket. He's like, didn't I tell you not to put the paper in your pocket? I'm like, yeah. Went up in there and got the golden rule. And the golden rule we call was the belt. Went up there and got the belt. I'm talking about this thick, like this thick brown belt with no buckle on it at least he you know at least he knocked the buckle off so he didn't hurt us like seriously hurt us no buckle 
thick belt about this thick leather, you know, that the official leather belt. Man, I got a whooping in my triple fat goose. And I guess Jason might have, my brother might have saw it. He told my son, when I was getting the whooping, I was like climbing up the ping pong table like Spider-Man. So they told my son I was looking like Spider-Man, trying to climb up the table, climb up the uh, ping pong table. But here's the thing, like, it didn't hurt because I had, <laughs> I had the triple fat, I had the goose feathers protecting me. But I started crying I think I started crying because I was, I just wanted to stop, or it might have, the force of the belt might have been getting through the triple fat goose, might have been dispersing the feathers, but I got, I ended up getting a whooping in my triple fat goose, I was climbing up the daggone pool table, ping pong table, and after that, you know, got a whooping, my dad was like, you, you know, you gonna wear it like that, you know, you tore it, you gonna wear it, so I had a rip in my pocket from putting the paper, from essentially doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing and I went and did it anyway so you know we were I was hard-headed but I, you know I think that was the last time I got a whooping well one of the last times I got a whooping the last the next whooping I did uh, my mom tried to give me a whooping when I was 17 but it didn't really do anything so the last official whooping I got I was 12 years old after that I was like I'm not getting a whooping no more I'm not gonna do stuff that made me get a whooping so I didn't do it but yeah, I had the long red trench coat, triple fat goose that I ripped, got a whooping in, and I ended up retiring it um, probably the next year or so because I think I might have grew out of it. But yeah, that was the time that I got a whooping in my triple fat goose trench coat.